Hi, my name is Valerie. I'm a lab instructor in the biology department at Memorial University. In today's lab, you will be looking at photosynthesis. However, in exercise one, you'll also be looking at respiration as well. Photosynthesis is a process whereby photosynthetic organisms take, as this equation shows you, they take or use CO2 plus water in the presence of light and chlorophyll to produce glucose and, and oxygen as a byproduct. So the main product of photosynthesis is sugars. All organisms, however, including photosynthetic ones, also undergo respiration. Respiration is light independent, doesn't need light in order for it to occur. To occur. However, photosynthesis is light dependent. It uses light as a source of energy. So respiration can occur in the dark or the light. The equation for respiration is organisms take glucose plus oxygen and they break it down into CO2. So CO2 is produced as well as water and energy for metabolism, which is the main product organisms want to achieve through respiration. In exercise one, carbon dioxide utilization and production in a filamentous green algae, we will look at the effect of light and dark on CO2 concentration in a filamentous green algae using a chemical called bicarbonate indicator. So here's some bicarbonate indicator here. Bicarbonate indicator can be used to measure changes in CO2 concentration because it changes color in response to changes in CO2 in it. It's normally this uh, reddish brown, orangey reddish brown color. However, if CO2 is added to it, it'll turn yellow. If CO2 is removed from it, it turns purple. In the lab document, it explains how this occurs chemically and we do expect you to be able to understand and uh, know how this works. In exercise one, we'll use a color change in bicarbonate indicator uh, to look at two problems. One is, how is the concentration of CO2 altered by autotrophs in darkness? And the second problem is, how is the concentration of carbon dioxide altered by autotrophs in strong light? Autotrophs, by the way, are organisms that make their own food, they don't ingest it, uh, and they do that either through uh, photosynthesis or through some other chemical means. Okay, so four test tubes were labeled A, B, C, and D, as you can see here. These four test tubes were rinsed with distilled water, then with a small amount of bicarbonate indicator, uh, and then uh, in between, while I was getting ready, I kept the tubes tightly stoppered whenever substances were not being added. You should try to think about why that would be. Two milliliters of bicarbonate indicator was added to each tube, and uh, then the stoppers were put on again tightly. When I was ready, I put an equal amount of algae, which you can see on the table there in front of the little note there that just shows you a clump, a approximately a, a, the size that I used in uh, tubes A and B. So, uh, was so those, the algae was placed in tubes A and B uh, using the clump, it's about the size of my thumbnail. Algae is not added to tubes C and D, and you should think about why not. The initial colors of the bicarbonate indicator in all four test tubes are shown here, and I'll also put a picture of this in the Lab 8 document as figure one. Put these results in table one of the assignment worksheet. Test tubes A and D will be completely covered in tinfoil, using tinfoil like that there. And so that uh, tubes C and, sorry, A and D will be in the dark. When all the tubes are ready, I'll then put them in a light bank. Like this one here, making sure the tubes are all at an angle so that they uh, have the most exposure to light as possible, the most surface area exposed to light. All tubes will be put in under the light bank for 45 minutes. After 45 minutes, I'll take them out and you, you'll be able to see any color change that occurs. 
So 45 minutes has passed. Uh, the foil has been removed from test tubes A and D. And so here are the final color of the indicator in all four test tubes. There will also be a picture in the Lab 8 document as well as figure number two. Record these results in table one of the assignment worksheet and include it with your scientific uh, write-up. When writing up this experiment, think about the two processes, photosynthesis and respiration, in terms of whether or not they may or may not be occurring, <clears throat> relating this to the color change in the bicarbonate indicator. As always, if you have any questions, please he do not hesitate to contact the lab instructors uh, about this experiment.